custom officers who give bandits seven bags of seized rice as a ransom for their freedom under fire. Some officers of the Nigerian Customs Service, NTS, are under serious criticism from the public following their interview with TVC News, where they detailed how they paid ransom to bandits for their freedom. A.A. Mohammed, one of the officers, revealed that he and his team gave seven bags of seized rice to the bandits as ransom. He said he had seized 37 bags of rice from smugglers prior to the incident, and the bandits demanded for seven in order to release them. The officer further narrated how the risk is left on a daily basis just to serve Nigeria. Meanwhile, a few days ago, bandits attacked a mosque in Benangwari local government area of Kaduna State, murdering two worshippers in the process. A community leader, Sani Usman, told Channel Television that the bandits invaded the mosque at Angawa Mankara in Kwasa Kwasa community in the local government at about 2 p.m. on Friday and opened fire on the worshippers. He said that two people were gunned down by the bandit in the attack. According to the source, the Muslim worshippers were observing the second round of the Salah prayers when they were attacked, thereby forcing the remaining people to flee from the mosque. Now, this is what I'm going to say. The person who started this pain of ransom in this country is an enemy of Nigeria. I will say this with my full chest. The person who started paying ransoms for anybody because me my mind they tell me to go now go and i start this thing i did tell you there is a part of that during that cardona to whatever you said that train attack now that he kidnapped people and people actually died because of that attack my dear government follow put money to make them bring person yes now dear now then now they mess up now i did be say somebody meets you now you carry somebody with a bag of rice you understand? You call it somebody bag of rice and the person they done, they beg you. So your guy, if you call it this thing, I may lie with you so. Nothing, nothing. I borrow this money, see me can do this business. So that I go feel put food to me. Me, I be worker. The person if you even tell you, see I be civil servant. But nothing soft, nothing day. Everywhere no soft, everywhere hard. Now I make a deal to this one. If they cry, I beg you, need damn for you. You go agree? You not go agree now. But bandits hold you now. Sharp, sharp, you carry seven bag before. I did before, and you are coming out to say you. Are, we, should, we should not be clapping for such things. I am so sorry to say. And the thing is, unfortunately, we are waking up too late. This kind of thing now, from the beginning of the beginning, game, that is when we are supposed to be doing this. When this will come, talk say this thing will happen. We say no, you know, go happen, and you know, go happen. By the time they see, say we are, we are, we are not people to be toyed with. Nobody will tell them me then. Me they leave, you may carry your water, they go. Maybe they preached against them when they are Muslim like them. They are Muslims and why are they condemning them? I don't understand. All these illiterate national sharks populating the nation's silly cup. How can my country make progress with such nicompos? See him mumbling nonsense just like his former and current president. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't blame you. It's your, it's your parents because you are doomed forever and you are a blindfolded cost monkey. Ah, ah. She reached like that. The custom officer who dished out this nonsense should be arrested and interrogated by security men if Nigeria is serious. How can serious bandits demand only bags of rice and you seven bags out of 37 bags you see? There is no way they can demand only seven bags when they can cast away the whole 37. Maybe you think we have the brain like you. Eh? The man is one of them, honestly. I'm telling you the truth. I spent seven years in the north and I know them too well. The problem is we the Southern Nigeria is having is that we are not united. The day we the Southern Nigeria be speaking one voice, our good is one. Forget the not, they are finished. I pity the Northerners, particularly the houses who have been jilted of their cultures and religions and replaced by this jihadism of both Mandel for you. Do you see the consequences of extremism, raping, manslaughter, maiming every day? My own is that. Now, people here are even saying that because I have not watched that particular video, people are saying that man is supposed to remain in the year. So, everything in the year is not supposed to remain. 
Risking your life on a daily basis to feed and satisfy your pockets, courses are following you for those things you continually seize and eat or seize and resell later. God will not forgive you unless you put to a stop. The nation is bleeding to stop to seize their sweet, their sweat and what they labeled for it. Like I said, I give you an explanation now. Somebody might come and kneel down for the fellow man can come even with tears in his eyes and kneel down and be pleading with them. They're not going to move. I'm telling you, don't move, don't no move, they will not be moved at all. He said he's working for people now. How is that when you're about to finish this country? Stay at them, both as I wonder where did I offend God. So I told who gave me the keys to ask the engineer. I don't understand what you're saying. He is one of them. Many are there. Many are there, their type. They speak language and they feel easily. They fall easy prey. I once heard an about an evil man speaking the northern dialect of what I didn't do to a shoemaker, asking him to say I did that. All right, I was startled while I was doing my clothing. He stole off a glance at me, peeped the road, peeped the road off. A while ago, I thought it, it doesn't matter having people speaking others' language, but the day I found it risky, such a thing happened. I was framed for carrying blocks I did not mold and I could not steal. Okay. Who remember this man that PMB recruited among others to join the gents in Nigeria? Now he's feeding his people because the Northern others opted and pressed him to give them pardon. Here we are. Others in several agencies would have been doing similar things to their group. If you are there saying the North is not wise, I pity. Yes, yeah, so the thing where they worry on for this country and you can see now they call the Northern as a bookie, finish it and no get sense. But my dear, they use that abuki way and they call them, they chop on a for them. I'm sorry to say this, I have to. If nobody will tell the people, me, I'm going to tell the people. I have not watched the clip, but from what people are saying here. <laughs> hey, hey, thank God they have exposed themselves, bandit custom. How do you hand over the called, the so called rich, so you give them your enemies? Is it by air or courier service? You told us you take a risk, which means that when you see them, to f when you see them face to face, you are gone. Illiterate in, in uniform. Liars are their favorites. They think they are talking to fools like them. But the thing is, make me all the very, very careful. Like I said, the person who we should hold responsible, the person will be the first person we give these uh, military people. I say military people, we give them, um, these bandits them, ransom. The first people, we give them ransom. Not, not in my blame. To be sincere. All right, so on this note, you have come to the end of your news. We say thank you for tuning in to the sentence. And I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.